somewhere that a lot of people get the courage to tell someone how they feel when they know they won't be around. I'll never know how you feel, and that's okay. Hey, Andy. No, it's not fine, Andy. I shouldn't have assumed. I should have asked if I could touch you. I know I don't typically ask you guys, but it's just, it's how I show I care, so I'm sorry. It's okay, really. I just... Okay, great. Now, are you okay? Yes. No. I don't know. Okay. Until you tell me, I won't touch you. I promise. Thank you. Andy, go. Uh, 
Are you sure you don't mind going shopping with me for a dress? If I minded, I would have told you. How was your day? Not bad. It's like that you weren't there. <laughs> Why'd you get in that fight? I can't stand it when people talk shit about my friends. I didn't mean to get Carl in trouble with me, but the kid cried because two seniors ganged up on me. What a wimp. I don't think I should run for homecoming queen. What? Why? You've been excited about homecoming since junior year. What's making you say this? Haven mentioned something about being tired of seeing popular girls winning <clears throat> and wanting to vote for Nat. And what if everyone feels that way? What if everyone doesn't want me as homecoming queen? I just don't know if I'm good enough for them. That's what this is about? Because of what Haven said? Babe, just because one person doesn't vote for you doesn't mean anything. It's one vote. <laughs> one vote that can make the difference in winning. Hey, I love you, bit. Can you love me, bit? You're right. I don't know why I'm so worried. Natalie, what? Natalie, what? What do you want, Mom? You just have What are you wearing? No. There's something like the one you're bothering on you. Yeah, but it's really something. Do you have your homework done? No. Not yet. I was just about to get started. I had a problem with the human beauty blind today. Oh? About what? What are you thinking about? I don't know. That's why I asked. Sometimes if you don't know, I thought it worked on good grades this semester. No. You talked about good grades. I said I was fine. No. We definitely talked about the getting better grades. You and I shouldn't be talking about this reality. I know, Mom. I, I will try. Uh, hey, Drew. Can we talk? Sure. What's up? It's about Jamie. Oh? What's wrong? It's why I left the party early. Natalie, what happened at the party? I'm not sure exactly what I saw, but I think I saw him with Andy. Like, they were hanging out with each other at the party? They're friends, they can hang out with each other at parties, Nat. I am not some crazy girlfriend who doesn't let her boyfriends hang out with friends. <laughs> no, I know that, Drew. It's it's just... What? Were they playing Spoon the Daughter or something? No. Um, he... They were... Then what? Are they sleeping together? Not exactly. Not exactly what? Get to the point, Natalie. <laughs> I think Jamie raped Andy. You think? <laughs> Natalie, this isn't something you can say without knowing for sure. Are you sure it was Jamie? <laughs> yeah, I saw his letterman jacket. You saw him? And you didn't do anything about it? I tried, but a bunch of the football guys were st blocking the door. You are an awful friend, Natalie. What the fuck, Drew? You didn't even try to stop him? Andy is one of our best fucking friends, and you basically just let that happen to him? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Literally anything other than what you did. I'm sorry, Drew, but you deserved to know. Andy deserves to know. I know. I'll tell him. Yeah. A lot of people deserve a lot of things. 
I did try. I called the police and they I didn't do- I don't want to fucking hear it, Natalie. Drew, I thought we were friends. Why didn't you see it? To my parents. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not good enough for you. I don't know how to make you happy. I don't know how to make myself happy. I want to say that this will make me happy, but I don't know. What's forever like if you don't believe in anything? I, I hope I hope it isn't like this. I hope my leaving will make you both happy again. Natalie. Yeah. Everything all right, huh? Yeah, it's it's just you know you can tell me anything you want, right? I know, Mom. It's just boy. Is it boys? Anyone you like? No, no boys. Is it a girl? No. It's just well, if it's not anyone you like, why are you crying? I just, I just feel overwhelmed, Mom. I feel like if one more thing goes wrong in my life, I'm just gonna burst. You shouldn't feel like that. You have no reason to feel like that. What do you mean? You I have a roof over your head, a bed to sleep in, food to eat. What is there to be sad about? It's just... Anyway, I'm sorry about earlier, about the clothes, even though you could probably just make it to school. It's your life and you can wear what you want. Okay. Well, well, well. Aren't you going to thank me? Accept my apology? I guess. Good. I'm glad we got this far. That's it. What else were you expecting? You come in here to ask me how I am when I'm clearly not fine, and then you just talk about why I shouldn't be sad, even though you don't even know why I'm sad? Your attention seeking really needs to stop. Grow up. I hate you. I hate you. You don't care about me. You never tell me you love me. What can I do to get you to care? I just, I just can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't anymore. for an homecoming coming along. Mom, it's slow. Was that your mom again? Probably. Matt, what's wrong? I don't know what I'm doing, Haven. What do you mean? Like, what am I doing? I don't care about any of this homecoming crap. All I care about is I mean, I don't care who wins. It's just a popularity contest and I would never win. Matt, Haven, can you come out help us out with these decorations? Yeah, just a sec. I'll be right back. Hey, Andy. Hey, what's up? Has Nat seen 
off to you? Has she told you anything? No. Besides, you're the one she tells everything to. She doesn't tell me everything. Of course she does. You and Nat are the closest in our group. Really? Because it seems like Jamie and Drew are the closest? Well, they're dating. You and Nat are. Yeah. About that. What? Um, do you think she would tell me if she liked me? Of course she likes you. We're all friends. Why wouldn't she like you? No! Not like that. Not like what? I mean that I kind of like her, as in more than a friend, kind of. Aw, Haven. Shut up, Andy. Do you think she would tell me if I told her? Maybe? I don't know how Nat feels, Haven. When are you going to tell her? At homecoming, when she wins. To my parents, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not good enough for you. Matt did a great job on the decorations. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome. What do you think, Lloyd? Andy, don't trust anyone. I don't know. I hope Nat or Drew win. Is Drew getting ready? Yeah, she said something about some last week, didn't she? Jamie, I know what you did. Uh, where's Carl? The city wasn't. My haven. I'll never know how you feel. Your nominations for Homecoming Queen are. Who all was nominated? I know Nat and Drew were, but who's the third girl? Drew. I thought we were friends. Drew Blake! She's in our Devil Econ class. Oh, that that popular girl who sits up front with Carl? Carl, I know how you feel about me. Jane Smith. Oh, yeah, she's pretty nice. I wouldn't be upset if she won. I always, I always wondered how people could get the, get the courage to bully someone so much that they, that they, they kill themselves. Yeah, but Drew would. I think if anyone should win, it's Snatter Drew. And the homecoming queen is, drum roll please. To go to, to go to such lengths to end the harassment. She shouldn't be too upset about it. I mean, it's just homecoming. Natalie Hart! My final confession. Yes! Woo, you did it! It! I know who, who killed me. Has anyone seen Drew yet? She's probably upset. No, I saw her just a second ago. The person that sent me over the edge. Come on, we should go congratulate Nat. Will you guys help me look for Drew while we're at it? For sure. My killer. Do you see them anywhere? No, to either of you. There's Drew with that Jane girl. Where's Nat? Natalie? Natalie?